Welcome back to my channel. This is your host and host, Vishwendra Rawat. So today I'll talk about cross-site scripting. Cross-site scripting is basically known as XSS and uh, what exactly it is. So once a uh, attacker or you know if you perform an XSS attack, you inject a client-side script on a web browser on a web page, and the result would can be viewed by the other user. So this is typically known as XSS. There are three types of XSS. First one is reflected, second is stored, and third one is DOM, which is document object modeling. So reflected is one where uh, you know you uh, as a user you are able to see and uh, the request which you have shared the client shared with the server uh, the server would respond according to that request and it will be reflecting to you so this is known as the reflecting uh, if the same request you know shared by client to the server and uh, that request is stored into the database and every time when you go to that page uh, it will pop up automatically because it is saved in the database so that is known as stored xss third one is document object modeling whenever uh, you are performing something uh, like uh, in today's world there are modern browser which doesn't request to the server rather than uh, to you know immediately show you the pages uh, there are some uh, client side scripts that automatically run so everything from request to respond are on client side that is known as document object modeling so these are the three types of xss which you can perform and uh, let's go to the practical part i will show you how it is being done and what you can do guys now i'll show you how to practically implement xss so uh, using bob suit uh, you know i have all earlier in my videos told you about the bob suit how you can use those so bob suit basically intercept all the request and you would be able to find out the parameters all the parameters over there so uh, over here as you can see keyword is the parameter and uh, i this is the payload uh, javascript payload which i have used to exploit this xss vulnerability so there is a xss vulnerability in this website and uh, since you can see there is a pop up so this script basically you know uh, pop up this thing so once this pops out uh, you know an attacker can insert a url instead of these numbers and uh, the victim will you know generally uh, like was going through this website or he gets the link of this website and he seem it seems to be like a genuine website to me but once i click on a url over here it will redirect me to a different website which is a cloned one and looks similar to this website so you know in this way uh, this is the basically the impact of this vulnerability and if it is stored that is more harmful because it is stored on their server and every time once uh, you go to that page it will pop up again and again and again and uh, uh, in reflected one uh, you the attacker needs to you know share this link with the victim to exploit this vulnerability so reflected comes under mostly into p4 category or p3 uh, based upon the impact and sometimes you know stored one comes under uh, p1 because of the impact they they created so this is all about the reflected and the stored and dom so i hope you know i am able to clear all the doubts of yours and uh, genuinely expect you guys to do the testing on the web genuine websites where you have the prior approval from the team or the website uh, so you can look for the disclosure vulnerability disclosure programs or you can reach out to bug crowd or hacker one which sponsor these things so thank you very much guys please like share comment and subscribe is important for me keep supporting me keep